This sofa has never been so crowded since we got here. So first off, can we just pass around the mic and have you introduce who you are? Uh, hello, lovely people. I am Bavagwar from Viis Minust. Hi, I'm Marco from Pooloop. I'm Gofer. I'm still trying to get my boy energy freed. He really did done nothing wrong. Hello, hello. I'm Lancelot from Tartu. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. I am Ramo Teder from Pooloop. <laughs> I'm Korea from Viis Minust. Hello, Malmö! And whose idea was it to enter SD Lao, the Eurovision selection in Estonia? Yeah, that's my fault, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we were recording in our first band camp, uh, which we did not uh, do in the sense of going to the SD Lao, but instead we just wanted to hang out because we've gotten such uh, good friends in a really short time uh, with pool uh, we had a really nice demo the same song we did it like very quickly i guess in a couple hours uh, and i told the guys that uh, this has like uh, everything to be inside uh, or even potentially in uh, eurovision so they kind of laughed at it told me to f off and uh, <laughs> uh, but the next day it, uh, i think offer said it started to spread like like a virus so it's like they were kind of like okay Okay, this has potential and uh, we are here. Thank you. And we have to talk about the tal harpa, this instrument that kind of gives your song its identity in a way. Could you tell us about it, how long you've been playing and what it is? Yeah, we've been playing it almost uh, 20 years or more, but uh, and with uh, with the duo Pooloop, uh, we have been doing it for 10 years. The instrument uh, itself, uh, it's a very traditional one, so it uh, died out from most parts of the world where it was used to play it, like Scandinavia, for example. Uh, but you can see, if you go to Norway, there is a church in Trondheim, uh, and there is a, a sculpture of a man from 13th century uh, playing this instrument. Yeah. In Estonia, it was played mainly by Estonian Swedes, uh, a Swedish population, uh, a Swedish-speaking population at least. Yeah. Uh, especially on an island called uh, Wormsi or Ormsö in Sweden. Swedish and uh, yeah it was popular there until uh, it became very unpopular because of religious awakening uh, at the uh, 1870s uh, there was a missionary from Sweden Lars Johan Österblom who came to Wormsey and then they burnt all the instruments except those those two yeah <laughs> And a lot of people say you have big daddy energy. <laughs> yes? <laughs> What's it like for you to be an icon for a new generation? <laughs> Well, I have two two kids, uh, so of course I'm I am dad. So it's uh, good to get this feedback from you too. <laughs> I ho I hope they they share the the. <laughs> and your choreography is viral. Do y'all know their dance moves? <laughs> Who came up with it? Also him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but we like to tell it that this dance comes also from Wormsey Island and it's uh, a very old traditional dance. So um, there was a question whether it really comes from Wormsey or not. So Estonian public broadcasting uh, asked from Wormsey people, is it true? And uh, they confirmed it. Yes, it's uh, old, uh, you know, dance from Middle Ages. Okay. Mm -hmm. A uh, kind of battle dance, and uh, and uh, if you go to a competition like Eurovision, then there is an element of battle also in it. Okay. And now we've got to talk about the song, the longest song title in the history of Eurovision. <laughs> yeah, let's applaud everything. Yes. Can one of you walk us through the meaning? Because there's a big debate going on about what it means exactly. So, uh, it's nendest narkotikumidest ei tea me küll midagi. This basically means that we here don't definitely know nothing about these drugs. Um, this kind of title uh, came to mind to, to Mark and me when we were driving to our first song camp and like just discussing what kind of songs would we make. And us 
these minos have had this like, this like notorious brand of being like these wild and bad boys and like associated with partying and drugs and whatnot and we have in the past have had uh, text and lyrics also supporting this kind of you know brand and Pulup on the other hand is kind of very pristine and kind of quirky funny but like very melodic and no they definitely don't know anything about any drugs so we thought that maybe it would be very cool very polemic to do like a very long song title that we don't know anything anything about any drugs but with the exception of these two little words in the brackets so the, those two words in the brackets are saying like these drugs here and we definitely don't know that's the four of us the, the Vis Minos band saying that like that's us in the brackets like no no these are not our drugs like man so uh, whatever <laughs> but the Bulu part is actually true we don't know anything about any drugs please tell us like <laughs> They are uh, <laughs> inviting people to, you know. But at uh, London pre-party, we had this uh, nice uh, uh, press conference uh, in the morning and everybody was asking, uh, uh, what is this song about? Is it about drugs? And we had the same answer. No, it's not, it's not, it's not about drugs. Uh, it's how we don't know anything about drugs. And in the evening, when there was a party, uh, the host was introducing us. The next group from Estonia, they are singing about very interesting topic and all these 2,000 people started chanting. Drugs, 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 drugs. drugs. <laughs> now, in your song, there's also this element of sort of social class. Like you say, we don't drink wine, we drink beer. What are you talking about? Like perceptions of people, etc. Uh, yeah, IPAs are really good. That's uh, pretty much what we're talking about. Yeah, but that's uh, Marco's line. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, my background is in social sciences. So, of course, we have to address social issues. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there are ma quite many layers and uh, references uh, to some. Uh, old uh, police chronicles and uh, uh, yes uh, and also a reference to a song from uh, uh, 1952 San Remo singing song competition uh, about uh, ducklings and uh, tall poppies which is an allegory of uh, uh, class differences um, so uh, there is a uh, many ways to interpret it and we we try to leave it open but yeah <laughs> And we always ask groups, you know, who stays out the latest? And we sort of expect a banal answer. But for you, who does stay out the latest and how late? Uh, it depends. Every day is different, I think. Yeah, uh, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> One by half an hour. <laughs> I thought I was out for like two, uh, two hours more than the other guys. Turns out it was half an hour. <laughs> so uh, that was that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it was me. Ah. Day before it was me. So we, so we actually, <laughs> we actually rotate. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hoping you might be able to share with our YouTube viewers a little bit of your instruments. Could you play for us? Yeah. That's it. My camera. What is it? I'll just sit on the side. You can... Are you sure? Yeah, cool, but... Is there another one? Okay, there's another one, yeah. <laughs> 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 Who of you won Estonia in the final? Woo! 
Is this something you think about a lot? Is there a lot of pressure on you to get Estonia back? Um, I just yesterday, I think I had my first dream about Eurovision. Uh, it was like a two-parter. I'm not gonna like bore you with the whole details, but uh, basically the first part was that we didn't get to the final. The second part was that we did actually get to the final. So I'm like kind of, I think I'm like um, uh, pressuring my brain to believe it. So yeah. And you went on the tour, different Eurovision pre-parties. Do you think that experience helped you? Because you've already performed so many places before. Yes, I'm sure it helped. Yeah, it gave us the introduction. What's uh, what's this all about? Uh, we got this uh, understanding that it's very supportive, uh, friendly uh, subculture, uh, or subculture is even <coughs> too minor to say. The like like millions of people who, <laughs> who are interested in it. So yeah, and it definitely helps to to perform and practice. It, it was a surprise that it's it's bigger than we expected like the fan base and 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 everything behind it so uh, for me to see that it was pretty surprising yeah no funny come here <laughs> uh, yeah, basically the same thing that uh, that, he, that he said. <laughs> I was really surprised. So many fans and uh, how deep they actually go into the into the songs and artists as well. So it's it's really really good to see that uh, that it's uh, such fun People crowd. Care. Yeah. <laughs> I think the. One of the weirdest and coolest part was just a couple of nights ago when uh, an I Irish bloke and an English bloke sang uh, my verse in Estonian to me. Yeah, I think the, I think the Irish bloke is there. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I mean, it's uh, it kind of shows that uh, it doesn't matter what language you speak, you just uh, it's bigger than that. So it was uh, really good. And a final question for you. Could we go around and you look into the camera and tell people why they should vote for Estonia? Uh, I think we're worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> dance a little bit and then then think if you <coughs> why not to vote it. Yes, <laughs> or if you don't vote, please dance at least. <laughs> um, yeah, basically vote for us because I have 26 euros on Saba to qualify, <laughs> and we need both to qualify because we're now I think in the predictions we're kind of battling for the last spot uh, on who qualifies, so we need uh, you to vote for us. And for some as well. <laughs> we try to bring as much as uh, as much energy we can to the crowd and to the viewer, viewer. So energy is free. Energy is free. Well, this is the only time you can vote for us. We shall never pass participate in Eurovision again. If you do not vote, you will never see us again. <laughs> if you want us to participate in any interviews, on any YouTube shows, on any social media platforms, you have to vote because you will otherwise you will never see us again. Uh, it's it's for it's for these minus we we as pull up we will continue continue participating uh, every year now <laughs> but still anyway vote for us yeah. Yeah. fantastic estonia you guys thank you so much thank you. we'll just do a quick photo